My name is Dr. Vasna Garovic and I am from the Division of Nephrology and Hypertension. The focus of my research is preeclampsia, which is a pregnancy-specific disease clinically characterized by elevated blood pressure and commonly proteinuria. Preeclampsia remains one of the leading causes of maternal and fetal morbidity and mortality, and its effects on future health of the affected women are increasingly recognized. Today, I'm going to present my paper that addresses future cardiovascular health of women decades after their preeclamptic pregnancies. This paper will be published in Mayo Clinic Proceedings and provides evidence that women with histories of preeclampsia exhibit an increase in atherosclerotic burden later in life. Our study utilized the Rochester Epidemiology Project Medical Record Linkage System in order to identify 40 postmenopausal women with histories of preeclampsia and the same number of women with histories of normotensive pregnancies. We measured carotid intima media thickness, also referred to as SIMT, a marker of atherosclerosis in both groups. In addition, we synthesized the results from the previous studies of SIMT that were performed 10 and more years after preeclamptic pregnancies, which further supported our conclusion. SIMT was significantly greater in women with histories of preeclampsia compared to those with histories of normotensive pregnancies, which ultimately may place them at an increased risk for cardiovascular events such as myocardial infarction and or stroke later in life. Our results suggest that SIMT may identify women with subclinical atherosclerosis and thus at an increased risk uh, for cardiovascular disease among those with histories of preeclampsia. This may offer an opportunity for early intervention by medical professionals who care for these patients. As for the women with histories of preeclampsia, given their high risk for cardiovascular disease, they need to be seen on a regular basis by their primary care providers so that cardiovascular risk factors, including hypertension, can be diagnosed early and treated timely. In conclusion, our results are clearly indicate that postmenopausal women with histories of preeclampsia have an increased atherosclerotic burden. Future studies are needed to be performed that will explore the impact of detection of subclinical atherosclerosis by SEMT on incidence of cardiovascular events in women with remote histories of preeclampsia. Thank you and I hope that you are going to enjoy reading the article. We hope you found this presentation from the content of Mayo Clinic Proceedings valuable. Our journal's mission is to promote the best interests of patients by advancing the knowledge and professionalism of the physician community. If you are interested in more information about us, our home page is www.mayocliniceproceedings.org. There you will find access information for our social media content, such as additional videos on our YouTube channel or journal updates on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter. More information about healthcare at Mayo Clinic is available at www.mayoclinic.org. This video content is copyrighted by Mayo Foundation for Medical Education and Research.